evening, welcome back to Oven Mitts Without Any Tits. Now it's tea time again. Um, so just to give you a bit of background, oh, by the way, my name is Corinne and I'm your host. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're a new subscriber. Um, consider If you haven't subscribed, consider to give it a subscribe. See what else we've got coming up and if you like the video, then give it a like. Now just to give you a bit of background, uh, because since we started doing the cooking side of things, pretty much everything that I'm cooking for Neil's tea is getting filmed. So poor Neil has to wait a little bit longer for his tea, but at least he knows it's going to get done fairly on time. You're not going to wait till silly o'clock at night for it. So today I'm cooking spicy Chinese style bolognese. Now it sounds a little bit strange. I know. I've had it before. I'm pretty sure I have it. It's not bad. It's quite a nice dish actually. So I've already browned off the onions, and I've also added uh, a an orange pepper. Use any any colour pepper you want. Um, I don't like the green ones, but the red and the orange ones are a little bit sweeter, so I quite like them ones. So into this, I'm going to add into it my uh, minced beef. So again, I think I may have mentioned before, if it takes a while, I tend to use the bigger packets of mince because I get more mince, more meat. Um, it's, it's a fuller dish, so again, I always add into it a, an oxo cube as well. So I'll give it a bit of a... Up, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Crumble. We'll crumble it up. I'll um, we'll put that into there and then we'll put this onto the heat to brown off as well. So while that's doing, I'll get a pan ready for the noodles. So I'm using egg noodles, medium egg noodles. So if you use any sort of noodles you want for this, you can use the fine ones if you want, but I prefer the, the thicker egg ones. So I'm just going to put two nogging things into there. What do you call what do you call one of these? Nest. We'll call it a nest. So I'll put two in. In fact, there's three of us eating and there's one for meal dinner. So we'll actually put Put another two in. We have plenty, plenty of noodles. Sorry for the rustling. So I'll place four into there. Four egg noodles. There to go. So once they're, once I'm ready to, to put them in, I just need to put some hot water in there and boil them for about four minutes. Put them there for now. So in the meantime, we'll just let that brown off, let the mince brown off, and then once it's done, we'll be adding the rest of the ingredients and leaving it to boil down, so stay tuned. So that's the first stage done. It's all browned off now. While it was actually browning off, I did put two teaspoons of ginger puree and about half to one teaspoon of garlic puree as well. And so a bit of a savage now, I don't do garlic a lot, but some dishes I will put a little bit in just to kind of like lift, lift it a little bit. So into this we then add four teaspoons, sorry, four tablespoons of oyster sauce. That's about room for that one. Uh, two teaspoons of Hoisin sauce. Now, again, don't don't need to write the recipes down at the minute because we are we are all at the end. I need to put my tea back in today. Can't talk. So yeah, two teaspoons, two tablespoons even. See what I mean? Of hoisin sauce, and then one tablespoon. Got it right there. Of dark soy sauce. Finally, 300 mils of chicken stock. We put it all mixed together, and I'm going to put it back on the hob to thicken off. Put the lid on, and leave it to bubble away so it's nice and thick. Once it's thickened, that's the point it's ready to serve. So 
while that's cooking away, I'll put some hot water into the noodles because that's about, like, about four minutes worth of bubbling. Uh, get them cooked and then come back and I'll get dished up. I'm starving again. I'm always starving. It's just a cooking show after all. So that's reduced down quite a lot. There's still a little, little bit of sauce in there. If you do find it's taking a while to, to reduce down, take the lid off and turn the heat up slightly and it'll just kind of like bubble away and evaporate all the excess fluid. So the last thing I need to do is add a little bit of um, hot sauce. So the recipe says Sriracha, however you pronounce it. I tend to use uh, Nando's Peri Peri medium sauce for anything like this. Uh, again, the recipe says one tablespoon, but that might be a little bit too warm for me. So I'm about to put about oh, just over half a teaspoon in. Not a tablespoon either. I'm really, I'm getting my tablespoon of teaspoon mixed up today. So don't you do the same. So that's that. Give it a mix. And we are now ready to serve. Smells very nice. So we'll start with the noodles, which I've already drained off. The downside to these noodles is when you when you do anything noodle-wise, is they just all stick together. Stick to the side of the bowl, stick to everything. And I'm going to sort of load up all the bowls before I put the bolognese mix on, just so I know that we've all got enough noodles. So that's that done. So there's the uh, bolognese. And here we go. So that is spicy Chinese style bolognese. Now you can put a little bit of um, spring onions on top just to kind of like garnish it if you like. Again, I don't like them so I don't put them on. Maybe I should put them on for other people. I don't know, but I don't. But there we go. Tea tonight. And if you do try making it, let me know what you think. If you've got any other ways to uh, pimp it up or down, let me know. And yeah, I'm going to go and eat this now because I am Hank Marvin. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Hit subscribe, hit the like and all that jazz. I'll see you next time. Catch you later.